Here's Papa. Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel. And today we're going to talk about the top five reasons that I believe the made in the USA Mossberg 500 is the best budget, underlying budget, firearm for home defense or stuff hits the fan prepping firearm. Now, there's a lot of debate over there as to what is the best home defense gun. Is it an AR-15? Is it a pistol caliber carbine? Uh, is it a shotgun? Is it a pistol? Uh, you got to use whatever you feel comfortable with, but we're talking budget here. We're talking um, single mom with a ex that's, you know, a known violent drunk. Uh, maybe he's going to come in the house. You know, something that, you know, you're on a budget. You don't have a whole lot of money. You're looking for something to fill that role of a home defense gun. Or maybe you're a prepper and you're looking for something inexpensive that you can buy several of so that you can distribute them amongst uh, the people in your group, uh, if need be, and you'll know, be a, a pretty good force to, to reckon with to, to protect a, a particular area if you know, the stuff hits the fan, as they say. Anyway, the number five reason that I believe this is one of the best home defense shotguns is they're simple to operate, they're durable, pump action, they're ambidextrous, the safety's on the top here, so it's real easy to get to whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, and you've got a variety of different loads that you can put in these for different situations. You can run birdshot through these, you can run slugs through these, you can run buckshot through these, you can run um, less than lethal rounds through these if need be. Uh, the local range here has a, has a round that they use to scare off any animals that want to wander on the range, the deer and the geese. Um, but they're they're very simple, um, very intuitive to operate. It's just a pump shotgun. As you can see, we are empty. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger for real easy trigger. Just real simple to operate. Uh, for loading them, you just flip them over. You got this empty hole here. You drop your load in there push it forward just keep pushing them in until they stop going in and then when you need to load it you just rack the slide you can top off if you want to and you're ready to go you've got on this one here I believe it's right around six in the tube and one in the chamber so you got around seven rounds uh, you can also get in the 12 gauge models the mini shells um, where you can get close to I think right around nine or ten of those if maybe more in the uh, magazine tube uh, give you a little bit more firepower and number four they've been making these since 1960 they've made over 10 million and counting of these shotguns in all kinds of different configurations um, depending on what you're looking for and what situation you're in they make a model to fit those needs and you can take something simple and inexpensive like this and over time build it into more of a tactical shotgun if you want to but they are everywhere so this is not something where I'm saying hey this is a great gun and then you go to the local gun store so I've never heard of that gun or we can't get those guns no this is something that's everywhere every dealer in America has sold and traded at least one of these if not hundreds um, they come into the shop, I'm sure, all the time. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, you can pick them up pretty readily. At number three, I kind of mentioned this in number two, but number three is replacement parts. Because there's 10 million of these in circulation, because they've been making these since 1960, more than Mossberg makes parts for these you can get replacement parts for these to keep them running for years to come you can get different stocks you can get different barrels you can get uh, shrouded barrels all kinds of interesting things stuff that you can get for them if you want to go with a a um, pistol grip on these those are available there are so many options out there and just parts are so available out there that you don't need to uh, worry about if something breaks on it, you can't get a part for it. 
they're out there they're easy to find and you can keep it up and running uh, if it ever breaks on you and that leads us into number two proven reliability the Mossberg 500 shotgun passed mil spec testing um, it was the only shotgun to pass the military spec testing that they did um, it also passed the National Institute of Justice standard for police officers SWAT um, security guards for a 12 gauge shotgun so that's another feather they have in their cap they also are all produced in an ISO 9001 standard compliant factory which means um, they've gone through all the processes are the same um, you should get a very quality shotgun every one that comes out um, and if they don't Mossberg will take care of you and at number one the main reason for this whole video is cost you can buy a new one I think they start right around 250 ish and work up from there but what you see on the table here is about $450 worth of guns they are everywhere and they can be had very very inexpensively the most expensive one on the table is this one here this is a 12 gauge 28 inch barrel um, it's got the uh, the nice little engraving on here this is more of a hunting setup and hunting shotgun it's got the vent rib barrel on here um, I think it is a fixed choke yeah it's a fixed choke so the the choke can't be changed but you do have the vent rib barrel a couple of upgrades on it so the vent rib barrel um, the engraving here it's got a little nicer safety on the top this one we paid $200 for used it's the most expensive one on the table simply because it had a couple of upgrades this one here I've done some changes to it it was very similar to this without the upgrades this one I paid $150 for it needed a good cleaning but it's been a great little shotgun it's been a great project um, if you're interested in the project that we've done on this one we've shortened the length of pull so it's it goes up to my shoulder a little nicer um, it's not so long I'm not reaching for the trigger um, we have shortened the barrel on it uh, made it a very nice home defense uh, tactical riot type shotgun and it's going to be work very well for me in that role this one's my latest acquisition now this one's a 20 gauge I picked this up last weekend at the gun show that would have been uh, the 16th of July 2020 90 bucks needed a simple cleaning um, functions just fine it is a really nice shotgun so when I'm talking about the best budget option out there the Mossberg 500 can be had for $90 $150 you want a little nicer one a couple hundred bucks on the used market very tough very reliable um, legendary reliability they run right up there with the Remington 870 pump action you can't get much more reliable than that now if you're looking to buy one of these I just thought I'd go through a couple of the things to look for on these a couple of the positive negatives but like I said parts are available they're relatively inexpensive so things can be replaced on them simply but things to look for trigger group on these has always been a nylon or polymer trigger housing everything that the trigger sits in is a nylon housing or polymer housing now Glock which is considered one of the best firearms in the world is a polymer frame so they've been using polymers for a long time but with heavy use and abuse these can break and crack you've got a couple options if they do break or crack you can get good used ones out there online they're running right around 40 bucks if you want a new trigger housing you can get those are right around 75 but that's something to look at when you're looking at these you know look around here see if you see any cracks pull it see if it's if it's loose if it's pulling up in the front here um, just kind of check to make sure because you know if you buy one and it's got a cracked trigger group in it it's going to cost you about 40 to 75 bucks to replace they do make a just a replacement plastic housing 
that you can buy and transfer everything over. That's kind of a pain in the butt. If you're mechanically inclined, um, fine. You know, that runs right around 20 bucks. Something else to look for on these is that the older shotguns only had a single action bar on the slide mechanism. And that bar is what, what moves your bolt back and forth. Now the single action isn't bad, a lot of shotguns had that. Um, the reason this one only has a single bar on it is that Remington had a dual bar system and they had the patent on that and they couldn't put it on this until that patent ran out. So the older ones are only going to have the single action bar on them. So that's something to look for, lets you know whether it's a little bit older or newer production, right around you know, mid 70s, this is a 73, still has a single action bar. Um, right there in the early 70s is when they, they switched over to the dual action bar. These two both have the dual action bar. They've got the bar here and on the other side. The dual action bar is going to be a little bit smoother, a slightly more reliable firearm than the single action bar. But the single action bar well, should get you by. You shouldn't have any issues with it if it's a good operating shotgun. Another thing to ask when you're looking at these, if you're new, what barrel does it have on it? Um, because that can change what kind of loads and stuff you can run through it. If it's a rifled slug barrel, rifled slugs are pretty much all you're really going to want to put through that. Um, if you, this is a smooth, if it's a smooth bore, you can run shot through it. You can run a lot of different ammunition through it um, without it being a slug. You can run slugs through the smooth, smooth bore rifles. If it's a full choke version, um, they say you're going to want a ribbed slug in there so that when it gets to the restriction at the end here, it's got some room to kind of squish down a little bit before it exits the barrel. So you can run slugs through these, but you got to be real careful which slugs you use. But that's the Mossberg 500 and the five reasons why I think it's the top budget home defense uh, stuff hits the fan prepping gun out there. This is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel and thanks for watching. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.